If you got dementia or Alzheimer's, what's the difference to you, Lucy? Yeah. What's the difference? That's a great question. Well, I, I want to say that, you know, the biggest learning part for me, Larry, and my family was trying the holistic route first in the sense of diet and exercise. And again, like having known those warning signs, you can go on ALZ.org just so if your parent is in the beginning of the dementia stages, there are ways to help slow down the process. I truly believe, you know, we were so afraid in the beginning that you're willing to listen to every neurologist, every doctor say, take this pill, take this. And I really feel like that was killing my mother because you're putting these drugs in her and you don't know the long-term effects of what that's doing to her, her insides, not just to the brain, but to her organs as well. The minute I pulled her off everything is when my mother started to get better. She got better. She got better. She, as far as her functionality and as far as her speech, and I felt that a lot of times we're just kind of putting Band-Aids and she was more of a zombie when she was on all these different, my mom never even took aspirin when I was growing up, you know? She was very old school in her remedies. So to all of a sudden be infiltrating her body with these chemicals was very hard on her. It was rough. And so I think now with all this amazing research that they're doing and just the preventative, you know, that's, that's my biggest thing of, of joining forces with, you know, the Alzheimer's Association. If we can do preventative work, because it doesn't just take a toll on the person with the disease, 16 million families are affected as far as family and friends as caregivers. And Larry, you mentioned why, what does it matter? Well, I completely agree with you. Um, it's really important though that we diagnose what kind of dementia, because there are reversible ones. There are dementia-like, conditions. I can tell you how many times I see a patient and I do lab work and their vitamin B12 is so low. Mm -hmm. When we start replacing it, their functional ability gets better, their cognitive, their sharpness. And how many times I diagnose thyroid storm or thyroid illness and these dementia-like symptoms go away. It's so important to call attention to this and see an older adult specialist, make sure they rule out any reversible causes to this. And, and, and if it is truly an Alzheimer's or um, uh, non-reversible dementia, then let's enroll early in these trials so we get some more data because that's how we practice now is with that data. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.